Hi there, Asriel, the Emerald Sorceress here. Let's play cards. Let's see who we are reading for. Who are we reading for, Spirit, Scorpio? <laughs> what signs? Virgo might be relevant. Capricorn, Aries, Sagittarius. And Libra, Pisces at the bottom of the deck. All right, Scorpio, let's see what's going on in your world. If y'all could hit the thumbs up, share, like, subscribe, I will really be grateful. Please and thank you. <clears throat> let's see, Scorpios, what's going on? Attachments, preconceived needs, codependence. Um, trying to see if I can get more. All right, so let's see for Scorpio, what have we got? Door to value. Let's just lay the cards out. Let's get three, two more, please, Spirit. Two, I'll take, ooh. Mm. That was more than I wanted. So... The blossoming abundance, it just flew on the floor. Door to personal healing and happiness. The sun, which has been coming out a lot. It is Aries season. Uh, something about a thinking woman, an air sign woman. Uh, hold, please. So the door to value, blossoming abundance, door to personal healing and happiness. It's a couple different doors. And then you have, uh, that could be you, Scorpio, or another water sign. They totally just locked me up. Something about strength, needing strength, co-creating with a woman of wisdom and understanding. Uh, new beginnings, increase in wealth and prosperity and value. Uh, there's two of those. It's like coins and bills. All of it. A windfall. A new beginning in a career. Somebody could be getting a new job, starting a new company, something about a smarty pants. This woman has a lot of books. Someone might want to read some things here. Three, one, 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 one. Uh, three, one. Three, one, one, one. I don't know, something about that number, the, the way, the synchronicity here. Um, threes are teamwork. Ones are all new beginnings, uh, new information, new, new, new. It also talks a lot about self, one does. Something is a faded event here to co-create. Creativity and art. Something is coming to fruition. Um, there's been a lot of manifesting. All right. The High Priestess. Is at the bottom of the deck here. Five of Cups. Let's see. What do we got? <clears throat> this desk is very loud. It needs a color. I need a lot of things here. What's that? Eight of Wands. Uh, messages, fast, 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 fast. Tower, tower, tower. Um, I don't feel like it's a bad tower. It's also like Aries, Scorpio energy, Ten of Cups. Oh, Five of Swords, maybe I'm not right about that. What's this? Door to Value. It's a hermit. A wise, learned person being led 
in a specific direction here, Six of Pentacles, somebody with gifts, with a gift, somebody, uh, the wands and strength, two of wands, uh, perseverance, go, 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 a lot of it. This guy's got a couple shooting stars behind him. Something about, he's in a cold mountaintop. That could be where this career is here. It's generosity, it's work, it's a, it, the moon has something to do with it. That could be just manifesting or divine feminine wishes coming true, dreams. Three of Pentacles, work. Hard work. And the Six of Pentacles is still at the bottom. So three plus six is nine. That talks about independence. Some independent business owner. Some Somebody's making a decision here. Choosing a different path. A new... Career, maybe. Um, something is about legacy and stability. King of Cups. The Six of Pentacles. You might have an invested interest, the Wheel of Fortune, in this finance career, new business, door to value. Temperance, five of wands. <clears throat> Can I have another one on this, please? The fool. It's something new. A new venture. Um, there is judgment. Something about a reconciliation. Two of wands, choices, choices, choices. To business partners, partners in crime. I'm not really sure. Some sort of partnership that involves money and a new venture. What is this right here? Blossoming abundance. Thank you. The strength card. So Leo, Aries, King of Cups. I am reading for Scorpio. I usually think that's Cancer. The Hermit is Virgo. Doesn't really matter. We could... We flow through all these energies. So, blossoming abundance and strength, inner strength, um, infinite power, infinite increase, um, some foundation, some idea, some new beginning is very strong. And it's backed by the universe. <clears throat> Another one. The Two of Cups, a partnership. It's with a soulmate, hangman, something about new perspective, the lovers, that's Pisces and Gemini, and the Princess of Cups. Tender, caring, compassion, um, a lot of giving and receiving. I was talking about this symbol yesterday. Something could have to do with healing because the hermit could be like a doctor or a practitioner here. Uh, can I have another one, please? Nine of Wands. And I keep seeing the Seven of Wands. There's the Ten of Wands. So... Nothing's easy, Eight of Cups, Ten of Wands. There's been like a huge shift in finances, in directions, in choices. Um, I also feel like strength with the Nine of Wands. Somebody feels like in this partnership, there's somebody's defender. 
Um, I got you back. Some people are helping others carry a heavy load. Well, it doesn't seem like it's bad. Oh, my neck hurts. So, <clears throat> the Queen of Swords is Aquarius. The Prince of Wands is Sagittarius. And the Four of Cups. So, something about blocking Aquarian energy here. Some Aquarian energy was coming and going, might have been erratic. Somebody didn't see, this person didn't see an offer that was being presented to them. I feel like somebody uh, was selfish. Four of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Nine and four is 13, is four of Cups. A lot of um, apathy, boredom, just complacent to sit and do nothing, look at nothing. The, both of these talk about not really moving. Somebody didn't, had nothing to give in a partnership. Eight of Swords. Seven of Cups. Something was a complete um, illusion. Uh, it was the wrong option. Somebody sometimes you gotta take few steps back in order to go forward so it seems like forward progress there's a little snag but it looks like it's for the better of six of cups that this that gets left in the past that someone that gets left in the past five of swords somebody was I want to say evil Not easily confrontable. Um, there might have been some sort of fight, separation, contract card, title card. What's this? Uh, the thinking woman, please. It is the Princess of Wands. So... That is a new creative idea. It's messages. It's usually good, good news. Ace of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. Um, I think what's behind that? Seven of Cups. I feel like somebody has cut out illusions. They have cut out options. They have learned some lessons <clears throat> about what's practical and what's not practical. What brings in money? What doesn't bring money? What what take take take. Get rid of the stuff that takes and drains you. Four of Pentacles, Four of Cups. Someone did that. You need to do that. You can do the narrating. The devil. Like I said, somebody got the message. It's death, actually. Just saying, Scorpio. Seven of Swords, Ten of Swords, the alchemist. So that's a lot of manipulation here. Someone was trying to manipulate a situation. It was just painful, Ten of Swords. So something ended, death, Ten of Swords, a thinking woman, some air sign woman, ended something, and it brings in value. Not only does this death card have a horse as a vehicle, it has a boat as a vehicle. Um, I feel like, again, cycles, fate, karma, something is a fated event. But I also feel like something is backed by the universe. 
seven of wands. Cut you back. Five of cups. Ten of swords. Hurt, regret, sorrow. Uh, that's all changing. There's like huge transformation happening here. Nine of pentacles. Again, some separation between a, a king and queen of pentacles. People that were connected with home, by contract, together for a long time, married, da 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 da. Somebody has found their independence from the King of Pentacles. Four of Wands, yes. Um, a domestic partnership, home, foundation, uh, a marriage and a celebration. Another one on that, please. Jeez Louise. The Prince of Pentacles, the Six of Cups. The three of cups in the world. End of a cycle because there was nothing to celebrate. Six of cups, nine of cups. Somebody is definitely was like selfish here. Nine of swords. Caused a lot of stress, worry, and anxiety within a home. About money. About the future. Somebody just um, is a headache. Was a headache. Whatever. Uh, the sun is a love, the lover's card. It's all about choices, new beginning, a new solid, um, again, divinely guided damper. Some like business venture. <sighs> I feel like somebody just chose to be happy also. Chose themselves over a lover. Uh, somebody choosing different lovers. Uh, the Prince of Cups and the Seven of Wands. Somebody is doesn't want this offer. They're standing their ground to an offer from a divine masculine, a high priestess, hangman. That's the hermit, the high priestess, and the hangman. That's a lot of intuition, knowledge, introspection. Paradox, something is paradoxical. Uh, something, King of Swords, Libra. Something has been awakened here. I feel like somebody is like seeing somebody for who they really are. Three of Swords, a lot of pain, a lot of hurt. A lot of grief and sorrow, the alchemist and the hierophant, holy shit. I love the keys, the hierophant and the alchemist and the king of swords. So Libra, spiritual leader, teacher, leader of an occult, also a high priestess. Also Pisces, uh, hangman is... Um, intuition a lot of just knowing and knowledge about that headache healing healers here one more somebody needs healing a lot of us need healing ten of swords uh, something had to end five of pentacles three of swords with a partner king of pentacles because it's a five of wands too much conflict. All right, what else do you have for, and the moon again, divine feminine. What else do you have for the Scorpio? Something was short-lived here. Something has come up unexpectedly. Uh, what is that card? Rooted, grounded, fertility, health. Uh, personal growth, that's what the hermit does. It's good fortune, connection to source. The anchor, that's like the seven of wands, perseverance, like standing one's ground here, backed by the universe twice here, just saying. 
something's going to take off this summer. Persistence pays off. It has to do with a woman here. Uh, um, something, be prepared for anything here. Temperance. I feel like Earth Angel, a lot of energy, child, telepathy. Uh, mm, the process of arrival, that also is talking about spiritual growth. And it says baby steps, so I don't know. Expect the unexpected. Something, someone here is larger than life. North, north, north. Follow your north node. Uh, I don't know, something about north and direction. There's a lot of creative syn synergy, synergy, uh, but I was going to say energy here. This is talking about creating. This is talking about creating the angel of strength. It's a faded event here. Um, somebody got orphaned. There was a change in the wind. After an amendment, uh, people like made up, like not so good, or people need, I don't know, there's a lot of healing needed here. Oh my God, High Priestess and the Magician in the Mirror. Somebody holds the book of knowledge, the Akashic Record. Somebody is wide open this moon goddess to a lightness of being, uh, more transformation energy. Uh, be present. Sky, be pleasant. So somebody definitely is cutting things out. More sudden and unexpected. The Clover talks about that too, but it's good luck. Uh, surprise. Something about harvesting here. Um, spirituality, divine guidance. Uh, duty is somebody this person over here with all that energy has a duty to oh wow 22 um, the road and the tracks Libra something is a big opportunity uh, a big decision I think I can, I think I can, focal point, steady movement forward, go the distance. Something to do with Libra and a third party and other people involved. Uh, no longer. Something about strangers here. But there was definitely some split up. Pisces might be relevant. Um, a vibrant, good health, good health, good health, balance, leisure, lover, recognition, affection, fantasy, soulmate, healthcare provider, dependable, faithful companion, a peer, a supportive friend, hermit. Virgo might be relevant, and I got the hierophant, maturity, and communication too, and, and, and the hangman again with the sun. Somebody's taking a big leap in prosperity, more keys. The key, the key, the key. Something about this Libra woman here. And this child, which arrived to part, transformation, change, birth, uh, and top hat. So for me right now, these are both spirit um, spirit team here trying to communicate, push through some uh, contract here. Something about making contact, records, and news, the higher fence. Spiritual leader, teacher, uh, leader of an occult. Uh, success, drive to get it done, dominate. Uh, somebody is the one, somebody is very good at divination and what they do. The devil, which is fighting the devil. Devil versus justice. Uh, and I just put the home right in between, uh, the devil and justice, which is Capricorn and Libra, uh, opponent. 
It's the game of life. A structure, a building, framework, a uh, balance. Integrating opposite forces. It's all about uh, people's well-being here. Um, cycle. Again, with the partnership. A promise. A contract, contract, contract. All right, what else do we got? I do feel like it's work, though. Even though, like, there's some, like, love splitting up. And then we got spiritual team things here. The shovel. Gardening. It says harvesting over here. Something about archaeology, soil, building, um, tool shed. I don't know. Stop by the police. And then about a DUI and license, intoxicated. Um, beauty pageant. Can I have another one on that one? Holiday, that's the sun again. Something about location and historical sites, local guides, sightseeing, photo album here. This underage card is kind of bothering me a little bit with this stop by the police good and I got more. And exposed criminality, getting away with a crime. I feel like something has to do with the police department. Um, gathering evidence, I feel like somebody's like a walking lie detector. Success, that's another yes. More books, a star, a breakthrough, ambition, big project, more interviews, an entrepreneur. These are two like big yes cards. This says the sun. Sometimes I see this as envy. I really don't see that. But I do see someone is untouchable, which is this here. Rivals. Uh Justice and the devil, I was just saying, I mean, this is Scorpio, whatever, reading. The devil's always trying to cause injustices. Something about karma. Um, I feel like somebody was framed or somebody feels like they're for, framed for a crime. Uh, Kent Jensen, this person. Some man here in the past, memorabilia, framed for a crime. It could be in jail. Something about newspaper cuttings, a, histo a historic event. Toys, a family something, school. He was a caretaker. Uh, somebody could have a learning disability. Um, pet, some soulmate thing. Teacher, sensei, learning, lecturing, video, drugs, prostitution. Um, that says bad stuff and science. A toy boy. A hamster wheel, not something was like a bad trick over here. Something to do with pets everywhere too. The globe and an idiot. Criminal. All right, so a discovery that sounds like a court thing. Somebody doesn't know the whole story about someone getting framed from a, for a crime and somebody's getting away with a crime here. Something about politicians. Somebody's going to take a risk here um, because they know something. Somebody could literally have like a kind of brain damage, a low IQ. This criminal person. On trial, um, a rap sheet, a convict, 
in prison killer for killing someone. Something about a defense attorney. All right, what else you got? Secret life. Again with the politics, crime, sexual perversion. Again. Sounds like incest. Again with the politician here, sleazy. More interviews and leadership. Revolutionary, revolutionary idealist, town hall flyers, labor union. Something is a scandal. Aristocrat. I feel like, again, there's a lot of history, ancestor, upper class, uh, family something. I feel like somebody's there's a haunted house here, uh, buried secrets. Somebody knows something, a psychic vision, wrath. Somebody's taking the punishment for something else, the crown for someone else. Monarchy. ESP, buried secrets are about to become unburied. Pandora's box has been opened in denial. Something about a lawyer and the government prison. And something wasn't isn't right here. I mean, of course it's not, right? Um, playing the victim, domestic abuse, addiction, something about the elephant in the room, naive and dumb. And then prison, con man, con woman, more sex. And that says like um, procreation, femme fatale. It also says like sexual fetishes, a monster, morality, uh, death here, commandments, free spirit, something about better angels and sins. Somebody's being maybe accused of a crime that they didn't do here. Bedroom. More sex. Sex offenders. Uh, lawyer and end evil rule. So something's going on with that. Interview. Money church. Idealistic organization. Something to do with this killer energy. Under attack. Uh, exploring something, uh, the countdown. Oh, see, mask wearing. This is big pedophile alert, too. Somebody's a liar, an idiot. Eight of cups, change in direction. This is a detective, the princess of swords. They get information, they find things out. Da -da -da. It's also immature energy. Uh, something here. Yeah. Mayhem. Um, terrorized, possibly. <clears throat> Yucks. It's not in the stars to hold our destiny, but in ourselves, William Shakespeare. Yeah, some things like Shakespearean. Really dark. Only put off until tomorrow what you're willing to die having left undone. Pablo Picasso. Names and initials might be relevant. They may not. Many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success and they gave up. <clears throat> Most... Of the important things in the world have been accomplished by people who have kept on trying, even when there seemed to be no hope at all. Dale Carnegie. So, until next time, my ears are wicked itchy. May the force be with you.